Welcome back everyone to yet another super special episode and I say super special because today we're gonna take a look at a pair of Mafte Vienna Black Stingray Hole Cuts coming up. Nice to see you all. Um, I hope you're really excited about this. Uh, this might be a little shorter, but today we're gonna talk about this awesome pair of black stingray shoes. I uh, was really excited about it. I I commissioned this for a client, or well, he commissioned it, and I, I begged him to keep it for a couple more days so I can do a small review for you guys. And to begin with, uh, I mean, this is genuine stingray, so, you know, the fish, uh, which is pretty awesome by itself, and it's a very difficult leather to work with. And this is made by Mafte Vienna, uh, which is a very old legendary bespoke shoemaker from originally from Romania, but he has been living in Austria for quite a while now, uh, for a lot of decades, and he makes traditional shoes, he has his own special models and construction, and uh, he he has a very few pair of like, you know, ready to wear lines or made it to order like this. And it was a very, very interesting project. Uh, I, like this client of mine, he really wanted one pair after he saw mine and we, well, we went through with it. So what we're going to do today is mostly to show you a bit more about, you know, the leather and its properties. Uh, we were going to discuss how much this thing would cost, for example, and how you get your proper sizing and just what makes all of this unique because this is a very unique leather and it's actually it's it's awesome to hold so uh let's begin with the close-up all right let's get going uh with the close-up as you can see how beautiful they look uh today i will not g show you the box because uh, it's quite plain and just for privacy reasons uh, all I need to show you is pretty much that apart from the shoes they come with uh, two very heavy you know branded shoe bags that's heavy flannel and it also comes with a separate one a smaller one and much more lighter with a bit of a cream beige color uh, that's for the belt now let's talk about the shoes themselves uh, what are the features? Uh, first of all, so these are completely handmade. So this means that they are hand lasted, hand welted, well double stitched, and even the sole is uh, hand sewn. So it, in essence, it doesn't differ as much from the one we saw last time with uh, Passus. However, at the waist, it's fully stitched instead. And you can see that because this is a 360 here as well. Uh, perfect. Uh, so what do we have? Uh, of course, first of all, let's talk about the leather, which is Stingray. It's genuine Stingray. And it has a lot of, you know, unique uh, characteristics. Uh, the first time I saw this, I'm like, wow, it's like mind-blowing. <laughs> it's I don't even know if this will show up on video, but let me close uh, do a close-up. Just look at this. So it's pretty much... Well, it comes from, you know, the stingray fish and it has this, you know, pebble, marble look-like texture to it. Uh, it is, if you tap on it, it has a bit of more, uh, you know, uh, a distinct sound to it, like, you know, if you're touching cow leather. And uh, these more whiter, you know, spots that you see, they are quite customary and quite normal. And you will see it in, you know, almost all of the, of the types of, you know, stingray leathers that you will see or colors. Uh, but what goes inside the pigment goes inside, you know, the small ridges that exist. And that's what gives it its color. And this one is sort of like a black gray. And as a far of leather, it's like it's extremely durable. I mean, it's fish, it's waterproof, it's even fireproof. Uh, it doesn't crease as much. And due to these pebbles and these ridges, it's very hard to work with. Uh, it's quite, uh, well, maybe not dense, but it's very strong. So very often uh, the, the needles break. So it's, it's quite difficult for many manufacturers, many proper shoemakers to, to use this or work this leather. That's what also makes it unique. I'm not sure if you can see, but here, you know, along the back seam, uh, the actual stitching, it's not, 
it's not even because you cannot have it on a straight line. It's 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 very normal. I'm surprised it was that well trimmed, anyways. And that's you know about the leather. And you can see here usually uh, good shoemakers will put this little spot. You can see that it's more you know white here, and it's a part of the dorsal fin. And they keep it. It's pretty much also a sign of quality. And I think it's a very nice aesthetic just below the eyelids. So, perfect. Uh, of course, this is a whole cut Oxford. So, uh, I mean, you have five eyelets here. There is no really a lacing system here. It's, it mimics the Oxford. And there's only, you know, a back seam that connects a piece of leather together. Uh, I think, as you can see, this one is a bit... It has a different color to it, like it's, it's a little more blue and a little larger than usual, but this is pretty much the style of uh, Mafti. Uh, what about the last? Uh, he has a lot of different lasts, uh, which are available on request, or you know, just ask me. And this one is the Alexandru last, uh, which his name is Alexandru Mafti, so uh, you could say it's his signature last. It's uh, quite, uh, quite almondy and borderline soft square, I would say. And you can see it from the bottom as well with a very nice installed flush uh, metal toe tip, which actually, it's, it's, it's perfect. Let's just look at this. Uh, yes, and uh, about the last, uh, you can see that it is a bit more, you know, roundly shaped and folds, folds in. And it gives a very, it gives a sandwich feeling between the sole and the double stitching and the actual uppers. I think it looks very nice. Uh, I think it's very nice for a uh, whole cut and uh, overall design. That's about the leather, that's about the uh, overall design. Uh, then we briefly touched upon stitching. So stitching, as you can see here, is the Mafte double stitched. Uh, we could, you can see here, it's sort of like a double braided stitching, of course, uh, uh, handmade, but made by hand. And now let's talk a bit about the sole. So the sole is not something that will blow you out of the water, at least on this particular one. Uh, but this is mainly due to the construction. I mean, you can see that it has a very nice bevel waist. The fiddle back is actually almost non-existent on this, but I have seen him do some amazing things. Uh, also, you can see, you know, cut by hand, all like the remnants of the, of the, of the channel. And I think that the finish of the sole could be a little better, like I've seen in some other models he has. Um, some uh, nails here and there, uh, you know, quite uh, used uh, sparingly. There's not much to talk about it apart from how really, you know, he did a great job. He does a great job installing the metal toe tips. Uh, the edge dressing is fine. Um, I mean, you can see a couple of nips here and there, but I mean, as, as, as long as, as soon as you use them, uh, this will just show up. Uh, the heel is really nice and actually quite, I would say, not thin, but you know, you can see here that if for, for such a more bulky construction, I think it looks quite, uh, quite elegant at the back. And uh, I think I think it's maybe worth, depending on what you like, to change the laces. They're quite nice quality, but I would definitely prefer flat laces just for the aesthetics. And that's it for the actual shoe. Now, let's go deeper. So what do we have here? We have hand-carved uh, shoe trees, which very interestingly, you can see that they have, it's, usually they have a metal, you know, a metal rod here that connects the two pieces, but this is actually wooden. Uh, this is very interesting. And I mean, it feels, you know, it feels a little rougher in a way that you understand that it's more handmade instead of being, you know, too polished, you know. Um, and uh, I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, it has this sort of like imperfections that come from, you know, the hand carving. And interestingly, I see this again here. I, I suppose this has to do with uh, with the metal rod. You know, we saw this in the passers, and but here it makes more sense because it's right at of the back, not here, uh, not here. Very interesting. And that's about the shoe trees. Of course, they are included in the price. They are not hollowed, so they're not. They're 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 heavy. I mean, 
they're lighter maybe than just regular trees, but they're they're not great for traveling and like if you are thinking about weight. Another super interesting thing is the lining. Look at this. Uh, so my friend Aaron wanted what he calls a fire engine red and well, that's what he got. It's quite vibrant. Uh, it's a nice contrast. It's not what I usually think when I think about, uh, you know, lining. I think Cobbler Union uses a quilted one, but also red. And what makes this interesting is that it's uh, uh, what he calls a one cut or a whole cut lining, I think, uh, which is pretty much one piece. And it's, it's actually fascinating. I don't know, like you already have a whole cut shoe and now you have a whole cut lining. Uh, so I can see in the stitching, of course, the whole shoe is, you know, like the insole is full and it has a very discreet, you know, brand name here, Mate. Um, there, I mean, what can I say? Uh, actually, I've, I've seen I've seen better linings when it comes to, to the finishing. This sort of feels a little sloppy at certain points or maybe it's because uh, it's, it's hand painted. But overall, this is a great shoe that will see great wear. And lastly, let's quickly touch upon the belt. The belt is amazing. This is not something that you would definitely like, you know, just find anywhere or like just wear. But my God, the belt is amazing. So because the Stingray is, you know, like it produces only X amount of hide and you need a lot of length to make, you know, a belt that is like 100 centimeters or 90 or 110. Uh, you have to take a piece that will join them together. And if I look for it, it's actually not that easy to find because of such a well done job. And maybe you see here this little spot that connects the two of them together and on the other side as well, right here. Uh, what really amazes me is, you know, on the sides, you know, sort of like a, the lining you would say or the back piece of the belt. Um, you can see that it's not you know, trimmed perfectly, that it's a bit rough because of the texture of the stinger, which is absolutely amazing. And as far as the buckle goes, it's actually so cool. Just look at this. Um, I mean, it's a nice solid brass one in silver and it's made in Italy and it has a nice navy uh, back. I think it's great. Uh, possibly I would also do, you know, fire red on the back just to match the lining of the shoes. And that's about it for the whole package. Great, great shoes, uh, beautiful design, very unique piece. And like, this is something that will last you forever. I mean, just, just look at this, look at these beauties. Shall we move on? So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of, uh, you know, why is this so amazing? And I just, I can't stop smiling just by holding it. This is, this is fantastic. And uh, so let's talk about, uh, you know, first of all, pricing, I guess, is really important. Um, this, uh, along with the matching belt, should cost you about two and a half thousand uh, dollars. That's right. So it's about 300 for the belt and about 2,100, 2,200 for the shoes, depending on construction. And uh, usually types like these, they take anywhere between two to three weeks to make. This was actually very quick. And to commission something like this, uh, you would have to message me at the Noble Shoe. So I'll leave everything in the description. Uh, so the thing with Mafte is that he's quite exclusive and a little stubborn, you could say, very traditional. Uh, so he's he's not interested in expanding so much, you know, like becoming commercial and everything. P people know who he is in these cycles. So he's more interested in producing quality goods. So the, the production is very, very small scale and quite traditional. 
And now, uh, what about the actual shoe? I mean, first of all, uh, I think personally, hole cuts are probably the best design for a pair of stingrays. And it's, uh, it just looks so elegant and so well trimmed that it's just a beautiful shoe. But then again, who buys something like this or how do you wear it? It's not that difficult actually. Uh, it might look quite quite flashy when you look at it like this, maybe a bit more because this one has double stitching, but honestly, when you see it on fit and when you see it with just regular outfit, it's actually much more discreet than you would expect, which I didn't with my own pair. It's actually quite awesome. Uh, okay, maybe the belt is a little flashy, but it's also a work of art. Uh, as for the Switch shelf, I mean, it's still an Oxford, it's quite a bit more, you know, formal shoe, but I would not really hesitate to wear this even with like jeans. Uh, so don't be afraid, I mean, it's uh, black grey, so it's quite versatile, so any shade of, uh, you know, of grey, dark grey, light grey, I mean, even blue, uh, it will work really well. Uh, so depending on how much contrast you want to make and how much emphasis you want to put on your feet. Um, there are two types of people that would buy something like this. Uh, it's the people that want to scream, I've got money, look at me. And it's the other type of people that just appreciate, you know, the construction and the technique and the skill it takes to, you know, work Stingray leather because it's so difficult. I mean, needles break and if you take a very close look at the seams, you can almost never have them go straight down because they're of the small pebbles. Uh, really genuinely amazing shoes. Uh, I mean, they have some of incredible properties. They are waterproof, duh. They are, <laughs> they are fireproof. I don't know who or why check that, but they are fireproof. They're extremely durable. They don't really crease, I mean, you will barely see it and you will not have to condition them other than a little bit of brushing and maybe after, you know, four or five years, you might have to retouch them a bit. So it's like one of the perfect shoes when it comes to maintenance, durability and appearance. Um, so I would say that this is a very special pair that you should only think about getting only if you have more than covered the basics and you want to expand a bit your knowledge and you know start to go into the realm of the exotic leathers uh, but always do it for you don't do it to be flashy uh, it's 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 an amazing feeling to just see them and handle them and put them on your feet and you're like it's it's, it's mind blowing and that's it. As far as sizing goes, since, since they are made to order, uh, well, part of a ready to wear line, I would say, uh, think about, first of all, you know, the model and what you want to create. Uh, if you, you want a sharper look, uh, do you want, you know, a more round last? Uh, do you want a double stitch construction or a more discreet one? And of course, when it comes to the actual sizing, since it's, you know, based on bespoke, um, what I advise is, uh, or how we did it this time, was that this is the time where it's actually worth to send your foot tracing and measurements, you know, draw them on a piece of paper like an outline and send them, as well as giving some reference of what you usually wear. And, you know, the, the, their job, Mafte's job and mine, is to guide you to find your most appropriate fit. So, that was it. I mean, what an amazing piece of footwear and I'm I'm really pumped uh, over, the, over the past year I've been very thrilled up from exotics and I want to experience as many as I can so stay tuned for more and that was it so of course if you enjoyed the video and the unique content uh, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe you know, press the bell for the notifications so you don't miss a thing because we've got a lot of shoe content and more soon to cover up. And uh, if you want, just leave a comment with your thoughts or, you know, let's have a nice discussion there. And before you go, we've got one more dad joke as it's customary.
So I went to my doctor and he told me that, unfortunately, I'm going deaf. The news was very hard for me to hear. <laughs> oh, that is, that is, that is really bad. Uh, you got more? Down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.